And with the Iron Step test coming up, it's important that, you know, they push themselves as far as they can go um, to achieve their personal best. Students at a local elementary school get a pep talk on the I Step from a professional athlete. Good evening, I'm Gina Quattrochi. And I'm Jeff Smith. Thanks for joining us tonight. Well, next week, kids across the state will be sitting down to the I Step. News Channel 18's Alex Dyro shows us how one school is getting kids pumped up about the big test. A visit from a Harlem wizard had elementary schoolers at Klondike Elementary School wild with excitement. But this athlete's visit came with a message for kids about doing their best on the upcoming I-STEP. With the I-STEP test coming up, it's important that, you know, they push themselves as far as they can go um, to achieve their personal best, right? And that's with anything in life, basketball, academics, you know, whatever it is. It's going to get them excited, and I hope that it reminds them, even though we have these tests, school is a great, you know, fun, enjoyable place to be and um, we're going to work with them no matter what. But this year's set of standardized tests come with a new challenge. Third graders will also be taking the new iRead test, a test that will determine whether or not they can pass up to the fourth grade in fall, something that has children getting a little nervous. Third grade teacher Andrea Herm and other teachers are hoping that bringing a little fun will help take some of the pressure off the situation. Kids just get so anxious if they see a question and they don't know it. So we're trying to teach them, okay, here's some things you can do. Herm says the best tactic is keeping kids relaxed and the mood light. Even students say they're ready to take the test and even shared some advice with the younger students. I think it got people really pumped up and people will be ready to take ice up over and over again. Just be positive and be relaxed and read everything over and over again until you get it. And that was Alex Dyro reporting.